Right, in this video I'll be showing you how to rip CDs in Ubuntu using a program called Asunder. Uh, the installed instructions are in the description below, it's quite simple, you can just install it via the Ubuntu Software Center. Now I'll demo it using this old CD, uh, it's probably the last CD I bought, it's an old Madonna album. And in fact it will be the last CD I'll ever buy, in fact, because the uh, music industry are stealing all the revenue from one of my videos, which they didn't make and they contributed no part for, so I'm really annoyed with that. And, as a result, I'm not buying any more music. They can... Hmm. You can guess what they're going to have to do. <laughs> I'm not going to carry that conversation on anymore. Anyway, let's open up Asunder and I'll show you it working. So, you can see it's recognised the album straight away. I've got all the song titles in there and timings. Let's just go through the preferences. So I've got destination folder. You could put it as your music folder. Might be more ideal. In fact, being that, but I'm going to put it in my home folder for the moment. You can set the file name format using any of these predefined sort of filters. Change the encoders, so you can select the encoder. Now, I rather like the FLAC encoder, lossless compression, so that's free lossless audio codec. Works okay with all but one of my players. And I'm not so worried about hard drive size now because they do come out very large, but it's not really such a concern these days. There's some more formats there, and proprietary encoders, so AAC. A bit, a bit more awkward to set up, yeah, because we need Nero AAC Enc was not found. Right. If you want the MP3 encoder, there's a, an extra program you have to install. I'm going to put a note of that in the description. But I think if you use the Ubuntu Software Center, you'll see it in there. And the last part on the preferences under advanced, you can get the disk info from the internet automatically. Right, so let's set that going. Click on the rip button. Right, so these are the files that have been created. I'll just open one of them up. Sorry. Sorry. Not too much in case the music industry would decide they would like to steal from a second one of my videos. So, to look at the properties and you can see the title of the artist album Year's a bit wrong, <laughs> it's not 1900, uh, but you see most of the information has been pre filled in. Now, what we could do is just might want to change more of the tag information there. And the program we use for that is called Easy Tag. Not sure it's necessarily the best one, maybe there are some more automated ones available, but I actually like it, it does a really good job, and you can do like bulk changes in it at one go. You can see they're all filled in there. Uh, let's change that year. So, when do you think it was? Just have a quick look. Uh, 2005. <laughs> How did I get it so wrong? <laughs> 2005. Click that button there. To make changes to all of them. And if just leave that directory. Go back into it. There we are, it's all changed doesn't come with pictures, but I suppose you can find those easily enough on the internet. You know, using the Google image search, I can easily find the CD cover. It's a bit different. I think it's that one, isn't it? Full size image, save the image, put it in there, call it folder. I should call it cover, actually. Whatever. Close enough. Go back to easy tag. I like them all, add a picture, and apply to all of them. There we go. Now when we sample it again, a nice CD cover. <laughs> and that's how to rip CDs in Ubuntu. So thanks for watching, see you later.